Welcome to Mastering and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about the little physics and their implication on practice. Here, uh, imagine you have a first day baby uh, and you are scanning and you notice the baby has muscular VSD, maybe you guessed. And based on the principle of the ultrasound physics, and this direction of the jet, which view is the best for measuring the diameter of the defect that we have here? As you know, in the pediatric or anyway, here, one of our job is we measure how much diameter of the defect when we have VSD or any shunt. So, uh, give me what which view is the best for measuring the diameter of this defect? Plaques, apical, PZAX, which one and why? Okay, for answering the, to the question, first we let's see what does mean resolution. In ultrasound, resolution means the capability and sensitivity of the ultrasound machine to create a structure image and clips uh, that is as much as possible close to the reality, real structure. So that is the definition of the resolution. We have three types of the resolution, temporal, spatial, and contrast. Temporal is dealing with the movement, how much those uh, clips that uh, create from the movement, any structure that is moving, is close to the real movement of that structure. And this is very important in echo and those other, like the vascular, a little independent of the what uh, specific location or places we use high frame rate. The next one is uh, contrast. Contrast means how much the machine can differentiate it, different texture of the uh, tissue, that they have different echogenicity, like the fat, bone, even the soft uh, tissue, they have each, uh, depending of the structure of that tissue, they have each of them different echogenicity. The contrast, especially, we use is very important for like the liver mass or disease, breast uh, mass or thyroid. So they are very important in those uh, soft tissue uh, has higher have higher uh, contrast uh, resolution. This these two I am going to talk for on each of those topics in different and separate uh, presentation. Today, just I'm going to talk about spatial resolution. Spatial is come from space. So we have three, three dimension in any tissue. One has thickness, one has height, and one is width. The same, it gives us a resolution, axial resolution, lateral resolution and elevational resolution. For understanding this type of the resolution, let's first go to see the probe and sector. As you know, uh, this probe sends sound pulse from one side to the another side and finish to another side in fraction of the second, thousands of the sound pulse goes uh, this way, all the way, and finally end to the another side. And create a sector shape. As you see, this is a sector sound of Kelvinier and vector. It has uh, thinnest at the level of the focus and has some uh, thickness each uh, sound pulse. I'm not going to talk about those uh, details later in another lecture, but here, let's go just for the resolution. Axial resolution, when we talk axial resolution, means two objects, they are top and bottom each other. And 
related to the sound wave parallel the arrangement and line up parallel to the sound wave. So when we have two objects that are top up bottom and related to the sound parallel, the, the distance between them is meaning we are measuring or machine capability is axial resolution. Lateral resolution, when two objects are next to each other, or another word, perpendicular, they line up perpendicular to the sun wave direction. And elevational is when they are back and forth, or anterior and posterior to the sun wave. Now, as you know, uh, all ultrasound machines, uh, in the best quality, they have this uh, number for resolution. Axial resolution is between 0.1 to 1 millimeter. Uh, for lateral resolution, 1 to 3 millimeter. Average is 2 millimeter. And elevational is 3 to 10 millimeter. But average is 5 millimeter. So based on this, you can say axial resolution in almost all kind of the ultrasound machine has the best resolution. Why? Because if two structures are close, even one millimeter separate from each other, still machine can detect them and discern those two objects and particles separately on the image can show us. In lateral resolution, is about two millimeter. So if those two objects are closer than two millimeter to each other, the machine doesn't show two separate. It show one particle. Let's see on this schematic. Imagine we are scanning two particle, different shape. They are separate one millimeter and line up perpendicular to the sound wave. And you know the best machine has lateral resolution about two millimeter. So since the distance between them is less than lateral resolution of the machine, the machine show us the picture as a one entity. There is not any separation as one entity with this shape. But in reality, there are two separate and they have distance between them one millimeter. Now go back to the imagine we have two structure, take it as a septum here. Septum and we are scanning this way. So here we the machine use lateral resolution. And imagine here the this defect is 1.5 millimeter uh, the size of the, this defect. Since this is lateral resolution, these two particles line up perpendicular to the sound wave, machine doesn't show any defect. They put both of them closed and contact to each other and show this way. Because lateral resolution 2 millimeter and distance between the, these two particles is one point half, 1.5 millimeter. So there will not. So very easy. If we, as, uh, if we go to use axial resolution for this structure, we can get better. There you go. We go here, we scan the, these two structure in this way. So we have axial resolution. Since axial resolution here for machine, a good machine is one millimeter and this size is uh, more than this defect is more than one millimeter so it show exactly the size and uh, two particles separate and the size of the uh, defect so based on this you can guess that the best way for answering that question is what uh, window now let's go see if our uh, guess is correct or not. Here we have apical, apical view, apical four or between four and five. You can see how much clear compared to the plaques 
you almost you don't see the effect really and you cannot measure on this image but in this apical four or five you can see very clear that the effect and pause it and measure it that uh, diameter of the defect very easy or here in the apical tree the same concept is perpendicular to this two line up so the machine use uh, axial resolution we using axial resolution and we can see very clear this defect the border and measure it that is the reason for measurement on the all structure we try to use axial resolution for LVOT we want to see or cusp or thickness of the septum we use plaques because we using axial resolution in apical four or three or five or any of those apical we use lateral resolution so those measurements will not be completely accurate I hope I am clear on this topic please give me feedback if that was enough or you need more detail see you next time